Assalamu alaikum everyone. It's great to have you back to Sirke Labs Physics and Chemistry video tutorials for secondary school learners. How do scientists determine the approximate age of an artifact? In today's episode, we look into the mathematical computation of the age of fossils or archaeological specimens using carbon dating. So stick around till the end of this video. Watch and learn. The question is, the radioactivity due to carbon-14 measured in a piece of wooden casket from an ancient burial site was found to produce 20 counts per minute from a given sample, whereas the same amount of carbon from a piece of living wood produced 160 counts per minute. The half-life of carbon-14, a beta emitter, is 5,730 years. Question is, what is the estimated age of this artifact? As illustrated in this figure, energetic neutrons are produced when cosmic rays from the sun collide with atoms such as nitrogen-14 in the upper atmosphere of the Earth. The collision of a neutron and Nitrogen-14 nucleus enables nitrogen-14 to disintegrate into carbon-14 and a proton. Carbon-14 oxidizes to carbon-14 dioxide and transported to the lower atmosphere. Radiocarbon present in molecules of atmospheric carbon dioxide enters the uh, biological carbon cycle. It is absorbed from the air by green plants and passed on to animals through the food chain. Radiocarbon decays slowly in a living organism and the amount lost is continually replenished as long as the organism takes in air or food. When plants and animals die, they stop taking in carbon-14. So, following death or burial, the unstable carbon-14 uh, undergoes beta decay to form nitrogen-14. Over time, the ratio of carbon-14 to other carbon atoms decreases. And by measuring the amount of carbon-14 in a sample and Comparing it to a fresh sample, scientists can find the approximate age of the artifact. Carbon dating is a versatile technique of dating fossils. 
and archaeological specimens from 500 to 50,000 years old. And it is widely used by geologists, anthropologists, and archaeologists. The first nuclear equation that is involved here is uh, given here when uh, cosmic rays from the sun collide with atoms in the upper uh, layer of the atmosphere of the earth, okay, uh, neutrons are produced and when a very energetic neutron collides with a nitrogen uh, 14 nuclide, okay, uh, the nitrogen 14 nuclide will become a carbon 14 nuclide and uh, a proton, right? The next uh, nuclear equation involved is um, when the organism died, right? Uh, it stopped taking in carbon 14, right? So the uh, radioactive carbon 14. That has been absorbed by the organism when it was still living, right? Starts to uh, undergo a uh, beta minus decay, right? That is, carbon 14 starts to uh, decay into nitrogen 14 by the emission of a beta minus particle, right? The half-life of carbon-14 is given here, equal to 5,730 years. And the uh, radioactivity denoted by capital A at time T is also given 20 counts per minute. And at time equals zero, the uh, radioactivity denoted by A0 was measured to be 160 counts per minute, all right? Um, 160 counts per minute also represents the initial uh, radioactivity of carbon-14 when it started to decay into nitrogen-14, all right? So, our target variable here is the age of the artifact represented by the time t. Right. Before we can determine this uh, quantity, time t, we have to first determine what we call the decay constant denoted by the Greek letter lambda. So lambda is just equal to the natural log of the number 2 divided by the half-life of uh, carbon-14. That is, the natural log of the number 2 is equal to 0 0.693. And when divided by the uh, half-life of carbon-14, which is 5,730 years, we will get the value of the decay constant lambda equals 1.21 raised to the negative 4 per year. All right, so uh, the meaning of the value of this decay constant lambda is that in every year we have 1.21 times 10 to the negative 4 nuclei of carbon 14 decaying into um, nitrogen 14 because of the emission of the beta minus particle.
Finally, we can now compute the age of the artifact, that is, the time t can be determined using this formula. t equals the natural log of the ratio a over a naught, and then divided by the negative value of the decay constant lambda. That is, t equals the natural log of 20 counts per minute divided by 160 counts per minute and then divided by the computed value of uh, the decay constant, all right? Negative lambda is negative 1.21 raised to the negative 4 per year. So doing your math, we will get the value of T equals the natural log of 0 0.125. That is the result of dividing 20 by 160, all right? And then divide by negative lambda. And finally, the natural log of 0 0.125 is in fact equal to negative 2.08. If that is divided by negative 1.21 times 10 to the negative 4 per year, we arrive at the value of small t equal to positive 1.73 raised to the fourth power year or years, right? So this is our computed value of the time t, which represents the age or the uh, approximate age of the artifact. So we conclude that the approximate age of the artifact is 17,300 years. That is, uh, the organism died more or less 17,300 years ago, right? Which is uh, about 15,000. 276 years before Christ or BC. And this is the uh, glaciation period commonly called the Ice Age. So that ends our tutorial for this topic. Till the next episode, Mabuhay, MashaAllah. Thank you very much for watching. Please follow me in my FB page and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.